Hey everyone, it's Chris here, and I'm playing a blast from the past right now. Newgrounds.com of all places. That's known as All Hallows Eve. This game is about 10 years old now. It hasn't really aged uh, visually all that well, but mechanically, it's pretty fun. Let me explain what it's about. It's a zombie survival defense uh, tower defense game. And uh, it's uh, sort of different in the way that it's portrayed, but it kind of has all the hallmarks of your standard tower shooter. Oh, I'm sorry, I scrolled there. I accidentally did that last time. So let's hear. We kill zombies, we earn money. Who pays us? Who knows? Who cares? But we use this money to enhance our offensive as well as our defensive capabilities. So I aim and fire with the mouse. Now I get two weapons, my primary and my alternate. And I can switch to my alternate at any time by pressing space or control makes sense and after every round i'll be able to uh, i'll be able to to buy stuff so kind of how we would think now i did play this once before but there was an error with the recording so i'm gonna have to start all over am i prepared to defend myself you bet your ass i am let's do this all right so i got 25 rounds to survive should be fun right now this game uh, throws out a couple of classes of zombies uh, all over the course of the game and it's pretty good at uh, showing some variety and with different uh, strategies and by strategies I mean shooting them in the head at different times but you don't have to shoot them in the head funny enough it's just recommended you do that they get a little bit tough to hit the closer they get to the house is it my house or did I just uh, happen to stay in it for the night I think it's like the actual difficulty uh, difficulty that they decided to make the zombies harder to hit close to the house, but it works, you know. All right, so this is the uh, this is the after round uh, screen where I can buy new weapons here and where I can purchase new defensive capabilities for my house. Right now, I only have 76 bucks, but I have 24 rounds to go, so I might as well just repair it. But uh, I get to buy a whole bunch of new guns, including the Uzi carbine. I wasn't aware that there was an Uzi carbine. That means there's a, I don't know, whatever. And of course, the big granddaddy of them all, the frag grenade, but that costs a whopping $3,000. It'll take a little while until I can afford that much. Let's save the game right now, and that overrode my uh, previous save, but we can continue. Of course, the starting weapon is a BB gun with only three shots in it, but that's pretty good taking down these zombie kids here, provided I can land two headshots. And uh, the next weapon is a 22 pistol, which will upgrade this capability to four shots in the mag. And at the starting rounds, I should be able to take them down before they get farther along, like the bottom of the screen. Uh oh, I missed that one. All right, there we go. So as you can see, there I am up there. If you haven't seen me already, and I can actually hit myself, although that's automatically. A game over like it says I incapacitated myself all right so we have enough money to buy the 22 which I will purchase and I'll make the BB gun my alternate weapon so like I said this gives me four shot capability but it also allows me to tag one of these zombie kids in the head in one shot I know you're hungry but you know what let me tell you what first come first serve and maybe that was a little bit overkill well, actually, I tell a lie before, but there is no such thing as overkill with zombies. You know what would be fun if all zombie worlds sort of took place in the same universe? Like, at the same time somewhere, Daryl Dix is uh, doing something. Although, I wasn't much of a big wa uh, watcher of The Walking Dead, although it's an amazing show nonetheless, though. I read some of the comic books. So, I just bought some boards that upgrades the defensive capability of my house to 600 points. Very good. But the one I really want to get is either the Iron Gate, which takes up a lot of damage, or it'll the auto repair. Ooh, the landmines look pretty uh, decent as well. Well, let's keep on going. We'll save up some more money as we go along. And, of course, I don't think there's a reload button, so I gotta fire off my shots. See, so look, they're, they're bringing up a brand new zombie class. Thankfully, with the 22, I can just double tap them in the head. But they're going to start mixing these with the rest of the kids, too. So I'm going to have to pick and choose what I want to hit. Oh, no. See, my aim is faltering a little bit. It has been a little while since I played this. 
Brain. Go down! Brain. Thank you! Brain. I'm just Brain. noticing that all these zombies just want this guy's brain. What is he, like a Mensa member or something like that? Alright, let's buy some sandbags as well. I could have saved that money, but whatever. Alright, so... I'm, I'm contemplating going until I drop, but I think it's uh, until like around the 10 minute mark. We'll see what happens. Uh oh. Uh oh, no, it's starting to get past me. Alright, see, this is what I was worried about. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, alright. I don't want to hope I'm not sealing my own fate by saying that, uh, that play until I drop thing. Alright, looks good so far. Now, the more weapons I purchase, is it going to up the reload time? Not exactly a good thing, especially with uh, the shotgun. A shotgun actually takes a lot of uh, reload time, so I really want to be careful. Just because I get a better weapon doesn't really always mean that it's going to be better for me, especially if the reload times are pretty long. Like, the the, uh, the shotgun has a much longer reload time, and when I upgrade to the, like the Beretta, it has double stacked magazines, but it still takes a longer time to reload that than the other gun. Go figure, right? Oops. Wasted my, my 22s. Hold on, I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that. I just noticed that it was uh, chopping off a little bit of the screen. I had to resize it so it's easier to see. That's good. And they're gonna introduce another zombie soon. I don't know when they're gonna bring it up though. Get out of my lawn. Alright, so now I can even buy more stuff. I'm just gonna upgrade to the Colt 45. Very good, and I'm gonna make the 22 my backup weapon. Uh, I mean, uh, the 45 is actually like a, a pretty good gun. Just like in real life, you can put down a lot of people in one shot. In this case, these are X people. Look at that. A full six rounds of the mag. I don't know a single Colt 45 that has that. Get off my lawn. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, there's the new zombie. The female zombie. You're hungry for lead? Well, have all you can eat. It's a buffet. Just seeing, this guy's like a badass. He has to survive like 25 nights of this. I mean, I'm sort of curious about the setting now, just what sort of thing happened. Or maybe this is kind of like Project Zomboid right now. That's a fun game, right? So, I think I'm going to buy the Barricade. That adds another uh, another 200 points on there. This is actually a pretty good uh, pretty good bastion there. That's, uh, what, 800 points of uh, protection? Let's save and move on. Oh, I'm so psyched for this. Uh oh, one more than I intended. Just a little bit of micromanaging, but you know it's not that bad, really. I mean, I know we're a little bit beyond the whole uh, zombie thing. I think we're we're entering a sort of a zombie fatigue right now, like. We've seen enough zombie stuff to last us a little while. I mean, with the whole Call of Duty craze, like, say, taking the zombies and just... ...magnifying it to a level where we're just, we're just kind of bored with it at right now. I'm making some pretty good money, but you know what? Let's add even more defense onto this. I've still got some left, so, uh, let's just keep on going. I'm making bank, baby. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I like the whole Nazi zombies concept, but, uh, like, too much too fast, you know? Like, this sort of thing I can kind of respect because, it, well, not necessarily the, the requiring a whole lot of intelligence, 
This is not a game you just charge into guns blazing. You have to think about what you're using when. Like, I, I have to memorize how many bullets each each of these guys here take for every different gun. And this guy's smart. He's doing it from the balconies. Okay, here we go. We got the, the lady zombies that are coming up here. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually surprised. That was like one of the... That's the first time they've taken a little bit of time to get up there. Very good. Very good. I like that. So let's throw... Let's throw the iron gate on there. And we're going to repair this up. That's all my monies. All of my undead monies. I'm on a roll this time. It was a lot. Uh, I took a lot more damage in the last playthrough. I'm just, um, I guess I'm just shaking off the cobwebs, you know? Ah, uh, yes, the dreaded balding zombie. Just pick off the small ones and sort of unload into the bigger ones. Okay. The gate also serves another purpose. It uh, it also allows me to keep the zombies at uh, at arm's length so that the sprites don't get a little bit smaller. It means I can get a better shot on them. I do have to keep a and uh, I do have to keep my cursor on it like uh, almost perfectly though. That's like the only thing that I can say that, um, that, that it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just like an extra little bit of challenge. I got to keep it, the crosshair just right on their heads. Even though like the pictures grow smaller and smaller. I think I'm pretty well fortified here now. Go to school, you punk. Get some rogue in, you fool. Don't make me call the truancy officer. <laughs> well, they went in stereo that time. That was pretty cool. Oh, shisa. All right, they're starting to break through. Okay, so they broke through the gate. Uh, that's all right. I can still get past them. They only took down my most uh, my most important fortification. That's all right though. There, that wasn't too bad. I think I'll go through one more just before the night's done. Uh, Cause I got like a 13 minute video here. Oh wow. Well, that's about it. There goes the iron gate. So, well, whatever happens at this point happens, I suppose. Let's do it, guys. There we go. Man, like I said, this guy must be like a genius or something like that. They just want his brains, man. Oh, da die, there we go. Just shooting right on the bald spot. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, boy. No, no, I'm not home. Go away. Don't make me call the cops on you. Uh oh. Oh no 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 I'm not going down not tonight not tonight not tonight no no oh I lost See that's what I'm talking about this game will kick your ass if you're not ready for it I've only been able to beat this uh this game one time but you know what? It's possible, so I'm just going to have to go back to it after a little while. Anyways, thanks for watching. The game is All Hallows Eve. I'll put a link into the description for this video. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Actual, and I'm signing off.